Hey y'all, N4H&H &H here with my son Joshua there. That's uh, KN4LFU. And um, I was gifted a uh, ATAS 120A antenna sy system here for my uh, FT891 in my truck. Now this is the FT891 that I carry on my back for some it's on the air, but uh, made it to Mountain Goat and beyond with that rig. But uh, I'm gonna be mounting this antenna on the truck. I just have to get the cabling. I've got a bracket and then I'll, uh, I'll get this in the truck. So I wanna show you a little something though um, before I get it into the truck, just thought you might wanna see this. I'm just testing the system. So I went into the menu, let me zoom in. So what you do is, let me get out of this. You go into the menu and the big menu, the long, the long press menu and you go to tuner select and right now it would be off or you could select external into a uh, tuner like if you have an fc50 lamp that's linear amplifier because it's all coming out of the same port but i set it to atas active tuning antenna system all right and then there's another setting which turns on the atas menu i should have written down where that is but i'll go through here and find it again it was lower down in the menu the the setting i just set is way up in the menu by the way above even the settings for your uh audio transmit audio but you know how these different menus in here for the oh, the function menus have to be enabled? So you have to enable the function menu. There it is right there, ATAS setting. So that is normal, normally disabled. So ATAS setting, which is menu 0512, 05-12. You, uh, you click it and then move it to enable. And then, like I said, if you go up here past all the audio settings, you will see... Almost to the end, there's the audio settings. Tuner select, which is menu 16-15, and you set that for A test, okay? So now watch this, I'm going to hit function until I now see, there it is, the A test setting screen, and you can move your arrow up, uh, over, or you know whichever one you wanna do, up, down. Now, that up, down, um, and I haven't even read the manual yet, but, but uh, I recommended this antenna to, to several people and uh, some have purchased it and said it's just amazing. So I'm looking forward to this. And thank you to, um, he won't want me to mention his name, but one of the Patreon team members sent this to me for Christmas. I'm going to, I've got it on the down position. Now Joshua's going to show you what happens. As a matter of fact, let me move back over to up and let it, let it do the opposite. Okay, uh, let me pan over there. I'll zoom out. Okay, uh, Joshua, can you hold it up a little bit? It's not quite in the screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's got to go up. Well, just angle it a little bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let me zoom in on that. Okay, I'm gonna, um, I've got the arrow on the up arrow, and I'm going to press the multi knob. It's completely controlled through the coax. So you see there? Now I'm pressing up, but it's going down, which presumably means it's up means that we're gonna go higher in frequency, which means the antenna needs to be shorter. So now I'm gonna to move to the right and press. So now I'm looking at the, I'm, I'm on the down arrows, what I'm on. I know you can't see the screen, but just watch the antenna. So there you go. Um, so I, that's all for now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot a separate video when I get this in the truck. And let me show you, um, I'm, I'm, this is all even being run by battery power. See, it's my uh, Bio NO 12 amp hour uh, LifePo 4 battery. And again, the 891. This antenna system can be controlled by various different uh, Yaesu radios, including 857D, 897, 
450. I mean, so it's, it's, it's very versatile, this uh, ATES 120A. And um, like I said, I've got some of the, some viewers who have these mounted on, two, two of them have theirs mounted on the front left hood of their truck. Well, one's on a Jeep, one's on a truck. Another has his mounted as a trunk mount on the back of his Ford Fusion. And they, I mean, these things just, they get out everywhere. So I'll, uh, I'll follow this video up later with a video of me mounting it in the truck and trying it out in the truck. But I first wanted you to see how that works. All you do is connect a coax to it. The radio sends the power to it and the instructions for uh, tuning. So when we talk about an antenna tuner, this really is an antenna tuner, okay? You're not, you're not using a, a, what we call, you know, mostly antenna tuners are really transformers making the radio think the antenna is the right length. This is actually adjusting the antenna. Okay, so hey, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And again, watch out for, look for the, you know, the follow-up video on this. Uh, thank you to the Patreon support team who bring these videos to you. And if, if you want to join that team to help uh, further that cause, ensure that these videos will be around in years to come, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH patreon.com forward slash n4hnh and also uh if you will click that like button that helps us out with youtube consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe be sure to click the notification bell and you'll be notified uh, when i upload a new video including the one that is going to be a follow-up to this video and finally if you would um share a link to this video on social media uh, text message email or phone a friend Thanks again for watching and 73 from N4 H&H. &H.